Cool. And we're recording as well. So we're going to be working on While the Cat's Away, which is a short film. Uh, great little twist in it. Beautifully shot by some guys here in Australia. Uh, we can talk more about it later, but let's get cracking into it. So we're going to create a new project. Uh, I'm going to just open up. Uh, go to downloads here. So they've got a version six, so we're going to call it the same thing. Oh, it doesn't, okay. Doesn't like, uh, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's go dash 5.1. And 2.0. So we're just saying that we got 5.1 and stereo going on. So we're doing both 5.1 and stereo. You'll obviously hear a down mix of that in stereo. Um, but we're going to do this on our SSD. So we'll chuck that in here. And we're going to create from templates. And we've got our noisy post template here, which one day, in fact, I think I might share it with subscribers. That might be a good idea. I haven't even thought about that. Hey, Lady Ponk. How you doing? Uh, so join me, guys, over at twitch.tv. Come and hang out for some fun. And we have... All right, so we're all good there. We're going to create that. And basically, we're going to have our full template ready to go. Uh, we might have some channels hidden and we might even hide a bunch because to be honest, we start with just putting files into our, putting the audio into our tracks. So you have your track layout and what you'll do is grab all the files from the AAF, put it in your organized tracks, and then you will hide the original audio. So it means you've always got that original audio in sync from the start. So we're going to hope that they've done things like adding two pops and stuff. So see, you can see we've got channels already that are kind of inactive. We're just going to hide them. That's ADR channels. And so we'll hide a bunch of this stuff before we get cracking into our editing and bringing stuff in our tracks. So the best way to bring in your files is go import session data. And we go where our downloads are, which is there. We'll get state modified. So we're going to pull up. There's our AF there. So we're going to add in our AF. We don't need the video file. We want to copy from source media. And we want... Yeah, that's all good. Okay, so the tracks haven't been labeled, which is not helpful. But what are you going to do? This happens. Uh, and we're just going to put it at zero hours now generally uh i know i've done a video on this which i'll be posting pretty soon but a good rule of thumb is to make your film at one hour which they haven't done but that's okay short films not as as important it can be an issue when you've got a feature and it's long and you know you want to do a two pop so you have a two pop at the start and the end because it's great for composers and myself and the editor to make sure everything's in sync. So you have a two pop at the start and a two pop at the end. Um, and that just helps everyone to make sure that their picture is in sync with their audio and that everything's um, aligned and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a good idea to do that. Hey guys on Instagram, come and join us at uh, twitch.tv forward slash noisy post. And uh, if you've got friends who are into production, video, audio production, tell them to come over and check it out. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the thumbs up there, Lucas. Uh, I'll be on here for a few hours, so come and join. Okay, so you get a nice multi-picture here, and uh, it's all good. Fun Rala. Large, how do you say that? Hi, right, thanks for joining us live, Argentina. Welcome from Argentina. That's awesome. Hey, what's up? And Drosimos, find it interesting having to read people's names on Twitch sometimes. I love it, Conra. Large, is it? Conra? Conra's your name. I like it. 
Oh, oh, what have I done? Cool. Okay, so we've got our files here. As I was saying before, it's better to start at one hour and then you have your two pop at the start. So at 58 seconds and 59 seconds, you have your bloop, bloop with some white screen. And then you also have the same when the whole film's ended. They haven't done that. We're not going to bother removing it at the moment. So the other thing to do is within our files, we've got ourselves an MP4. So we're going to drag that into our folder under videos. The one thing I would suggest you get is that there's a plugin uh, or an app. It's free, which you can um, donate money, which I su su suggest you do. Uh, so with this, there's a few different apps. So they've got like ProRes, they've got um, DNX HD. I'm going to try the DNX HD. I don't know that it was working the other day, uh, but you can basically... Pro Tools runs better when it's DNX HD. That's their, um, or HR, that's their codec. Um, you don't need it to be a big file. It can be small. Uh, you can also force it to be 1080 and stuff if you want to. I don't know what file size, uh, what resolution he's picked, but let's just chuck that in and see if it'll work. No, okay. So I haven't got the right stuff for FFmpeg. So that's all right. We're going to get ProRes because even ProRes runs better runs smoother and we're just going to go LT, which is just a low quality one. Um, that'll just run smoother. MP, uh, H.264 is just in Pro Tools, just don't seem to, um, to run properly. So Conrad is your full name. Okay, Conrad, thanks so much for joining us today. I'm so glad that you can make it. So good. Uh, make sure you chuck us the follow, guys. Hit that heart to follow or even better, subscribe. That would be helpful. It helps me keep this thing running. Hey, guys, on Instagram, I'm going to sign off here. So come and join me at twitch.tv forward slash noisy toast. You'll get to see everything. I've got split screen, split screen going on. You'll get to see, like, the mixer cam, which is kind of like this and all that kind of stuff. So definitely come and join us. Catch you guys. Sorry about that. Doing cross promotion, of course. All right. So, also, guys, if you've got any peers out there, people who are in the industry, definitely share this because uh, it uh, it's. I want to give away free knowledge, and I also want the interaction. The best part is when you guys interact and give me new ideas as well. So that's good. Internet, your internet's been down. That sucks. Oh, so what are you studying online? So you said you're doing online school. On Androsimus. I love that. Um, yeah, so what are you studying? You're studying audio post. So obviously this is doing its thing. So what we're going to do while we wait for that, um, it looks like we've got our score here which we've also got in, uh, we've got the stems, but we might have to sync them up. Um, basically what we want to do is chuck all these files. So we've got ourselves, I'm going to make this active. This is our MX channel. I might quickly give you a, a real quick rundown of my um, template. I have done that in previous videos, but look, it's not going to hurt for me to quickly go through it again. So obviously here we've got our, these files here are what we've just imported in the AF. We've got DX channels. So DX is dialog. We've got some reverbs ready to go. We've got some FUTs ready to go. Uh, PFX for me is production effects. So when there's like boom audio that's not talking, if people are walking into a scene and stuff, I'll chuck that into PF PFX. we got FX mono. We've got an uh, LFE sweetener, so we can sweeten now, like add some low-end rumbles and things like that when we want to in our LFE. We've got FX stereo, then we've got Foley. Whoop, that, there we go. So that's done. Uh, and then we've got ambiences, mono. Then we've got stereo ambiences. We've got front and, uh, front and rear as well. And we've got some... We don't have many... I haven't got many um, reverbs set up at the moment because... You know, it depends what the picture is. We'll add more as we need. 
Uh, MX is music. Excuse me, I've got location, which is uh, location music. So if it's like playing from a radio, car radio, or um, it's at a party and it's someone's stereo, we've got MX, which is just going to be, at the moment, we've got a stereo um, score, but we'll also have stems. So we'll have our, we'll create or add our stems later on. Uh, and then we have uh, some, we've got an up mixer if we want to, to 5.1 for our music. We've got some, we've got uh, quad reverb. So we'll use two stereo reverbs and I'll show you later how uh, we get a nice um, separation so we don't have phase from the front and the back. We've got our VCA channels, which will control all the different, uh, all the different, channels and then we've got our master buses so at the moment we just make stems for dx fx and mx we have an m and e uh, and then we have so these are the lfe sends which i do some low i've got some low air and stuff we then have our obviously master fader and we've got our down mixes so we've got the whole thing mixed down mixed to stereo as well so we've got uh also the last master channel is oh excuse me having enough coffee in fact, here's some more coffee. Um, so we've also got like a a web version, which is slightly boosted. We've got a little bit of compression on there and it's boosted by, say, 6 dB maybe to get like a louder version for web if they want it. Then we've got Tone, which is literally the 2-pop. They haven't got a 2-pop in there, but we would put a 2-pop in that Tone and it sends to all our outputs. And then we've got RX monitor, which is for Isotope to play back through our system. So that's a quick rundown of what we've got. And so what we're going to be doing is chucking stuff in our DX channels, uh, which I'm going to hide and make inactive. Uh, you know what? We'll just hide it for now. And then we're going to need, so PFX, we might have a few. Uh, we're going to hide a bunch of stuff just to make it more organized. Uh, We'll go two channels for each thing um, for now. So they'll have some, probably some ambiences and backgrounds and things. Uh, I don't think we'll have any Foley. We'll add that later. That's our own Foley section. Uh, there won't be, I don't think there'll be any mono ambiences. Let's hide that. And for now, let's just go with two backgrounds. You know, what, I think that'd be fine anyway. We don't need anything else hidden. So we've we are now just going to go through and organize our channels here. Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, comrade, what did you say? Yeah, um, so the Stream Deck, I was just using in the first videos, I was just using the iPad app, um, which I actually want to buy one of those, like the legit Stream Deck. Uh, it's in the plan. Um, obviously, I'm just, you know, with everything with the um, coronavirus, with being in lockdown and stuff, the works, I don't have as much as work and, and obviously finances uh, a little bit spare at the moment. So I'm going to get one myself because honestly, the stream decks look sick, but I was using the iPad app uh, at the moment because I've got now a second machine for streaming. What I was using it for was just triggering um, scenes within the OBS, what I stream in, but now I'm just using the keyboard on the on the PC. Um, but it is awesome. And there, actually, the someone, I'll have to find it. If you join the Discord, so you'll see the links at the bottom of the screen on Twitch. Um, Join our Discord because I'll share it on there. Remind me to share it on there. Uh, there's a sweet app um, that does macros, like multiple macros and time macros, uh, and there's a lot built in into Pro, uh, Pro Tools. The guys have sort of um, hacked, the, hacked the Stream Deck, and it looks really sick. Um, it's definitely something worth looking at. Oh, yeah, you're doing high school online, mate. Year 11, nice. Doing sound production as one as your VCE subjects. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, I I find it so tricky for parents. So I'm I'm a parent of two young young kids, so they're not doing school. But obviously, like my wife, uh, 
and I are trying to juggle who's working when and stuff to look after the kids, but that's pretty full on having to do school online. I feel uh, bad for parents who have got young school kids. That would be hard to be doing that at home. Uh, cool. So we've got some tracks here as well. So we're going to put that into MX2. Sorry if you can't really see what's going on. I might try and make these a bit bigger. I just don't want to have to scroll if we don't need to, which I will. So we've got those tracks in there. So basically, as we go, we can hide stuff. We're just going through and doing what we need. So it looks like they've added some um, sound effects and stuff, but we're just going to go through. Uh, it looks like as well that this is not organized. So this is the problem with um, AEFs out of Premiere, and I don't, I don't know what they used, in fact, for this, but it never, it's never well organized. Um, cause I think people don't set out their tracks. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, if you don't set out your tracks properly, it just ends up being a mess. See, there's like mono tracks and then it looks like there's stereo tracks. So let's just drag eight up to there. Nine. Yeah. So it looks like it does. Uh, mono tracks first and then stereo tracks. Go 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 16, 17. Yeah, it's so weird. Looks a little bit more organized. Okay, so it looks like we don't have, a lot of the time there's just boom and stuff. So uh, the other thing is we've got to import our video. So we've already made our video ProRes, which should play a little bit smoother. We'll just pull that up. Okay, so that's the one that was made. Just chuck it straight in. We could chuck it in with audio. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Because then we can check sync and even just hit, have a reference, but all good Let's see if we've got our picture hmm I've got picture but you don't don't you love it I had it working a second ago Oh, you know what it might be? There we go. So perfect. Interesting. Okay, so let me just double check our video. So we've got it. It's pretty well cropped. wonder if we've got... Ah, uh, that'd be why. So look, they've given us a beautiful... Uh, a beautiful... What's the... Uh, 235 version. So what we're going to do is go back and recreate this. And what you do... so in uh, ER Toolkit, so I'd check out ER Toolkit online. What you can do is select Force to 1080p and you want to put Letterbox and then we'll do another one. Come on, mate, get into it. There we go. So we'll do another one and what will happen is it will give us bars at the top and bottom, which doesn't matter anyway for our screen because, you know, it's just bars. You're not going to see it anyway. Uh, and then it means it won't be adding us the width on the sides there as well. So it's just a little quirk in the converter itself I guess um, so we'll keep moving on while that's doing its thing so a lot of this is not a lot of dialogue in this film so a lot of it's going to be just um, production effects so I'm just going to drag this whole top channel because I'm assuming this is all just the boom and it doesn't look like there's much else underneath that. So I'm just going to boost our waveforms a little bit so we can see what's going on. Yeah, 
So there's no talking through there. Okay, so we're going to need to add some sounds and stuff into this. I've got a bunch of notes that we'll go back and check from the director as well. See if we got any dialogue. So we're just going to quickly scan through. We're going to um, scan quickly through and just move everything, everything where we need it to be. So it looks like this is cool. So that's the radio announcer. So we are going to, I don't actually think there's much dialogue, but we're going to just chuck the radio announcer onto channel two. Why not? In fact, no, let's pull up. So because it's kind of ADR, um, I'm just going to chuck that on our ADR channel. Let me just get rid of. Sorry, it was an old label from another project. My template is not completely clean. So we're going to make that active and we're going to paste that into our ADR channel there. I'm not sure if we've got more of him later too. So let's just quickly check what this is. So if you hold shift and press S, in fact, let me put my key. So you should be able to see keys now there you go yep sweet so if we hold if you select whatever area you want you can just press shift s and you can solo it so it sounds like we've got some water there and a phone whoops phone there too so i'm wondering whether we're meant to get two messages that was by station favorite are we going with double dings? All right. So these sound effects, some of these we might replace. Uh, I'm not sure where they got them from. So if we can replace them, we will Done. just in case of copyright. Uh, and their stereo sounds, although technically we want, I think both of them we'd want mono, but let's just chuck them in our stereo sounds anyway for now. And we've got Tim. And what's this? We've got some music. Is this music? What's this? Okay, so we've got a, a music track. I don't know whose track this is, but this is cool. So we're going to copy this. Oops. Paste that in and we're going to chuck that into our music tracks down here. Just going to check out what these are. Okay, so we've got some ambiences and a dog. You know what, for now, let's just keep his sounds in there, but we'll probably end up play replacing them all. Dog, we're going to just get a mono version of the dog because we're going to do some fancy stuff with that later. We're going to just have a listen to this. It's weird. Um, cool. That's her singing. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, I'm assuming that she's not. Is she actually listening to the track on her phone or whether it's like more in her head? I think that might be the idea that like it's more in her head. Let's see what let's see what channels we got, so sounds like the same thing. It sounds like the same thing, so we're all good there. Sorry about that. Nice and big. So we need to, we got reverbs going on there. We're going to turn our reverbs off. That's not talking. It's more her being hurt. I might chuck that into our, oh, we've already got in there. We've got our PFX. Because really, like, if someone was going to redo the film, they could just replace the dialogue, not the whole lot. Uh, the other thing is, while we're at it, let's just put a marker in so we can come back to that spot. 
we've got our new video. So we're going to go file import video. And this is our cropped version. So we're going to chuck that in. Let's put on the main track, remove existing clips. And now we have, oh no, what the, that's not right. Maybe our, oh, <laughs> what's going on there? Never had that issue before. That's strange. I've never had that before with, um, it could be that it's really wide. Like I've done it with wide videos before, maybe an amorphic. Let's try that one. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to use, um, Adobe encoder. Strange. I'm wondering if that this will just squeeze it though. Pro, uh, is that a Pro Tools command uh, skin on your keyboard? They seem pretty handy. Uh, it's stickers, which some of them are going manky and are moving. Obviously, the ones that I use a lot. Um, I think, like, you can buy the keyboards themselves are like a hundred and I don't know, they're pretty expensive. So, you can get nice keyboards like this that actually have proper keys. They're pretty expensive. You can get just a skin that sits over the top, but this is stickers. The stickers have been fine. Like I've had this keyboard forever and they still work all right. Just a few of them, like you got to squeeze them back on there. Um, yeah. Oh, and I've deleted stuff. There we go. Uh, so yeah, it is, it is handy at times. I use, I think a lot of them though, I just know anyway, but it does, if I didn't have them sometimes, like, it's just good to be able to go, oh, there's your grid spot, whatever. Um, yeah, sometimes it's harder, like, if you don't have this to know where they are, like, you almost don't really need to look at it, but it's there to help. Um, I've also set, so on my jog, on my uh, trackball, I've got these, your selection tool and hand tool uh, program to the top buttons so I can, like, you know, select and grab. If I press both, you get your multi tool as well. Um, up here, you can see that here. Um, cool. So we're just going to keep moving through. Where are we at? Okay, so we're just going to check what this is, whether she talks. I don't, I don't think she talks for ages. So we're just going to copy that down the bottom. Hi. Okay, there we go. We've got Hi. some talking. <laughs> this is the very slow way to do it. We're going to chuck that down there. We've got talking in this. So we're going to... Hi. 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 I missed you today. Oh no, I just hung out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh sweet. Done. So we've got some audio here. Oh. Okay, so that's all good. Let's see if we've got more talking down here. I should have told you sooner. We're having a baby. <laughs> Sandy! Tell me about it, stud. Tell me about it, stud. Tell me about it, stud. Cool, so we want to just... We don't have to probably go this hard, uh, in fact. Brad, don't speak to me like that. Let's just keep I'm this pregnant. stuff together. 
So any lines of dialogue, we obviously yes. want it in our I'm DX channel. Sure. Anything that's just more general effects, we want to put them in our effects channels. All day. Brad, I have to tell you something. So stuff like that we'll keep oh. in our uh, effects channels. Misa Lobo, bring me Han Solo. <laughs> so the reason we're doing this is that if they wanted to release an international version, they'll be able to just mute the dialogue channel and then basically do their own over the top. So we're just going to double check that we've got everything we need. Looks like we've got stuff here. See if we got any audio here. Looks like there's some stuff here. I'm assuming we'll have something on the same channel here then. Yeah, we're going to keep all this stuff because that's clean, nice and cleanly recorded. Okay, so we've got some sound effects here. They're very low though, because they've got the faders down on it. So we're going to just undo our fader. Oh, doesn't look like there's anything on, it, on the faders. No automation, so we can go play that and we can just give it a boost and have a listen. It's a weird loop. We'll replace that. So that's some sort of tape sound we're going to put that just in our fx mono channel uh, we can worry about whether it's panned or not later we're just going to put out in and out so there's a trick if you hold control option command and you press on say the pan when the pan here or volume you can actually bring up the automation channel so you can see all this automation that we'll delete later anyway um, let's just grab all the bits and pieces we need Let's start from the top. So we've obviously got a t some sort of TV show audio. Okay, so we got some lapels. Okay, so we're gonna open. We're gonna get some of our DX channels back. So we're gonna keep the first one for. Uh, our phone guy. Sorry, I got some, uh, they recorder channels as in to record ADR. So we're going to bring this up, make it active. So we've got, this is the female line. We're going to actually, because they've um, staggered it as well. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call it when you... Move to the next channel for like the next bit, whatever you call that. Okay, so we're going to copy this. This is our female, so she can be two and three. And so that one will be female as well. So she can be two and three. And he can be, so it looks like his is only on one set of channels. 
there is this line as well. What's this? Is that her talking? I don't actually know what that is. Okay. I don't know. We'll just put that in our effects channel for now and we can get rid of it. We'll put that. Whoops. Put that in that. Effects 2. What's this stuff? Okay, so we got a door knock. It's a good door knock, so we're going to keep that. We'll put that in our fix. Let's put fix three. We'll bring that up. Let's chuck it in there. Fix three. Then we've got more TV show. Uh, we might put, just have that in our stereo effects. We can treat that accordingly, make it sound like it's in the room. And we must have some eating or something here, this channel. Great. So we're just going to keep that in our, oh, we've already got it in our PFL. PFX, I forgot that we copied that across. Let's just see what's in here. Looks like there's more. Put that in PFX2. In fact, that can just stay in PFX1. It'll fit in there. What's this? The burp. Delicious. What's this? Nice, and it's a poo sound. It's a nice little plonk. Let's put those in our effects. We only need the mono. We don't need stereo effects for these kind of things. We can obviously pan and put reverb if we want, do things like that, but we just don't need it uh, as stereo effects. We're basically just chucking everything and organizing it in our own channels the way we like it rather than relabeling their channels. Okay, so we've got, let's chuck that into PFX there, because it doesn't look like we've got anything here. No, that's empty. And we've got something down here. If you've got any questions, guys, feel free to ask. I know this is pretty mundane, but this is what we do. We stream the whole thing from start to finish, every bit. So we're going to copy this, paste that in here. Double check we've got whatever's in this section here. There's our little twist if you're taking notice of what's going on. <laughs> uh, just give me a second. I'm going to just quickly check that last video. Yay! There we go. So you need to make sure you're an anamorphic. Oh, no. No, now it's stretched it. Okay. Actually, we might be able to. If we go... Oh, let's try it. Uh, can you change Pro Tools to anamorphic? I think I could, but you know what? Stuff this. Encoder. I found a flaw in ER Toolkit, but to be honest, for a free 
app or cheap if you donate some money. It's a sweet little app. It does well. So make sure, guys, you hit that heart for a follow uh, so you can keep up to date when I go live. And please tell your mates about this. Tell your peers. You guys who are studying, can you please share this with your friends? Uh, share the twitch.tv forward slash noisy post link. Uh, let others know that I'm live. Uh, that'd be great. So we've transferred those. In fact, there's nothing in this stuff here, but you know what? We can keep it there for now. Any audio in these channels doesn't look like it. There isn't this though. A lot of it, so it's just quiet noise at the moment. Looks like we've just got duplicates of most things. Let's just add those ones because I'm going to assume that's the dry tracks. Paste that in. Yeah. this stuff down here let's just make sure we don't forget anything this dude coming in the room we'll just chuck those into our mono effects now we've got some dialogue it seems interesting We're just going to put all this in the same channel. Okay. I don't understand why he's cut it like this. It's all in different channels and stuff. doesn't make any sense, but that's all right. We're just going to put it all into the same channel and we'll edit it together. So we've got our dialogue here. That's ADR, which we're going to chuck into channel ADR5. Because we'll treat that differently. So we're going to obviously, we've got to edit that up, but we're going to give him reverb and stuff like that. At least they've given it to us clean. That's fine because you can't see anything. It doesn't have to be in sync. So we'll make it sound more legit. Uh, we've got a cut scene here as well. So this is a funny little, funny little clip, uh, short film. It's great. It's a cool idea. All right. So that I think we've got everything there. We can obviously always come back and check. So the best thing to do is we just select all those. Just going to hide and make it active. And so now we've always got our original audio and clean, which is the best part. So we've got it there ready to go. Uh, our, we could probably hide all our master channels. In fact, we could even hide our DX, our uh, VCAs at the moment. We don't need those. The other thing we need to do is add our score. So we're going to add audio files. So 
where the wild cats, uh, where the wild cats, while the cats away. Uh, so we got dance sequence, which I think is just okay. So it's just an MP3, which is already in our timeline, so we don't need to worry about that. That's our stereo bounce, but these are our stems. Uh, I'm not sure. Excuse me. I'm hoping that it's all in sync, ready to go. So we're just going to try it anyway. We'll import it. He's giving us all the audio as tracks, which is fine. We're going to add our tracks in. We are going to, yeah, it looks good. Okay, so we're going to quickly make these a purple hue. This is our score. We're going to... So if you press Option Shift, so it's due to all selected, then we just want to change that to our DX... Uh, sorry, our MX 5.1 MX bus. And now when we saw those, they'll be coming out of our music stem. Which, let me just double check. So, yeah, so that's our main tracks. Hmm. Seems we're missing some stuff, though. Maybe we're not. Okay, that's all good. Oh no, we are. Interesting. I think there is something wrong. I'm just going to re export the. I'm going to re export the. Oh, what? That's weird. Just going to re-download those files. I've had an issue with, I don't know if anyone else has had it, with Google Drive um, and just not exporting all the files. It's really strange. I expect more of you, Google. Uh, so we'll read down. There's 29 files, so I don't think we've got 29 tracks there. Let's just check that out. Downloads. I definitely had issues with the download because... Uh, Yeah, there's only 16 files there, so there's definitely something wrong with that, which is all good. So we're going to just delete that again because we'll re-import them. Okay, well, let's start treating uh, or let's edit and treat our dialogue. So we are going to, in fact, we can just hide all our other stuff for now. Oh, no, you know what? Let's just leave it there. It's not going to hurt. We've only got a few channels. So we're going to start with treating this. This is our Andrew um, radio. We really put do enjoy it. So I've already got just some fades so I can automatic fade. So if you press F, it's just going to put those in. But we might go through. So I'm going to press Command F and you'll see. We're going to just fix these up. I like a bit of an S curve on that. I'm going to push this back a little bit. And we've got 300, 120. You know what? We're going to make that 80. So that's the crossfade. This is in milliseconds. We're going to chuck that in. Now we're obviously going to cut the top off because that was cut really tight. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is Just Kate. I'm out. Please. Okay, so we want to... That was by station favourite, Andrew... One other thing that we're going to do before we start that. So if we select everything, so we select all our channels, what we can do is if you go to edit, clear special, all automation, what it will do is get rid of all those, all the automation. We can then go, if you just press option, it's due to all, click on there and it will basically just 
bring everything up to zero. So you press so shift and option and it will chuck all those back on the zero. And as you can see, all our uh, pans are at zero as well, which is what we want. Let me just double check. Encoder has now opened. Cool. We're going to just chuck our video in there as well. So I'm jumping around here a bit. Hopefully you're following along all right. Where the cat's, uh, while the cat's away. Let's whack that in. So we're going to go DNX. Where are we? Obviously, like for people who don't want to spend all the money on Adobe, that ER toolkit would be the best option to go. But we're just going to go, what is the file already? Does it tell us? It's 2048, so it's two, it looks like it's a 2K file. So we go, um, oh no, that's output. So it's just a HD file. Um, it says it's 1920 wide, so we're just going to go LB's fine, and we want it to be, where's, NXHR, you know what, we'll stick with LB, where'd that go? That's right. LB and we'll go, it's 25 frames. Let's just go 2K, but then we're going to change it to 1920. So now we should get, actually what we'll do is we'll uncheck that. We'll go 1920 by 1080. And now we will get bars. That's what we want. What I can do is LB, we're just going to go frame rate's 25. That's fine. We can uh, make this a new preset. So we'll call this Pro Tools GNX. So it makes an MXF file which we want to make sure it's in the right spot it is cool so we're going to convert that let's do that this one will work finally okay back to our guy so we're going to just double check what so we've got a um, Okay, so she's listening. I think the thought, my thought will be that maybe when we break out from, out from that water, once we break out of the water, what we're going to do is go to that radio sound. So we're going to just quickly copy that. Let's cut it. I'm going to paste it into our location audio. And we're going to find a, a, we're going to use like a FUTS. So for this ADR line, we're going to add our FUTS over the top, which we'll just use FUTS box. So FUTS box is awesome. If you get the McDSP, you can pay, uh, I think it's like 16 a month US or something to use all their plugins. And to be honest, there's some sweet plugins in there. It's, if you don't have a lot of money, it's actually um, like a good pack. To, well, obviously, it's a subscription, so you know it's ongoing costs, but you can plan for those. Um, but the few plugins, like there's good reverbs in there, um, good EQs, stuff like that. Um, but Fartsbox definitely worth the effort for. So we're just gonna check this dude, and whatever Fats we use, we'll just. Put it on that, that music as well. Favorite Andrew Warboys. So we're going to we go. Enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. <laughs> now we don't usually do this, but we have the original. Maybe song medium speakers. The piece. 
This is just Kate. I'm out. Please. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We could probably afford really it to be bigger. Enjoy his arrangements of pop song. <laughs> now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please, enjoy. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. <laughs> Now, we don't usually do this. What we do before we Original chuck this through fats. Let's bypass this. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please, enjoy. That was by station fans. What we do is I'll use normal, I'll use the Pro Tools we really do EQ, just so it's real simple. Pop songs. <laughs> We're going to we just roll really off some of the bottom end, so just clean it out a bit. Original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please, enjoy. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboy. We're going to compress it. I'm just going to use the Pro. This is a plugin you get with Pro Tools if you subscribe. Now, usually do this, but we have the original song. That now, radio is normally pretty compressed, this so we're going to just, just go. Right. I'm out. Please let's go. Enjoy. 27 milliseconds and a 20 millisecond release. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. We might put a bit of a knee on it. Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. Just going to do I'm some makeup out. gain. Please. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. I wouldn't have got now, so close to the mic, but... This, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please enjoy. That that was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Mm. Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please Enjoy. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. <laughs> now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song Hello. that inspired the piece. Give me a tech, guys. Sorry, we're back. Uh, I've just been told I need to turn down for a tick. There's a studio next door. Uh, all good. That's all right. It shouldn't affect you anyway. I'm just going to be a little bit quieter. Uh, all good. That the first time this has happened. That's all good. Let's go. Six. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. Very much on the we mic really there. do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. <laughs> now, we don't usually do this but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please enjoy. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. 
Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. So we just want to pick... just Kate. I'm out. Please. Some speakers that all sound nice. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. (laughs) Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is Just Kate. I'm out. Please, enjoy. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. (laughs) Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is Just Kate. I'm out. Please, enjoy. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. (laughs) Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is Just Kate. I'm out. Please, enjoy. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. (laughs) Now, we don't... We might still thin it out even more. The original song that inspired the piece. This is Just Kate. I'm out. The other thing that we'll be doing... So, obviously, we can do this more in the mix stage, but we're going to be putting reverb, like sending him in the room a bit more. So, it'll be the same with the music and stuff as well. So, we're going to just quickly save this preset. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. (laughs) Now, we don't usually do this. As soon as we chuck... In fact, let's just quickly do it now. So, we've got a reverb. So, it'll be a surround reverb as well. Um, That's going to send... That DX is going to send straight to... What we're going to do quickly... We are going to select our dialogue channels. Just going to get rid of this and this. These are mono reverbs, which we can still use if we want to, but at the moment we're not. We're going to add a new track. New stereo aux is a great way to do. So I pressed shift and option, which means does to all selected. Then we want to call this DX reverb, and we're just going to call it one which will be, so we've got one mono and then this will be just one. We'll make this, this will be a surround one. So this is our channel here. And we're just going to send that to our DX bus. Gonna make that non. I should have set this up already in the template. So we're gonna have to do a bit of a fix the template. But what we're going to do is, so now these effects will send to this channel, which is DX. And what we'll do is we'll duplicate it here. I'm going to send that to the back. So now we've got rear reverb. So it's sending uh, DX reverb one. It's sending to both channels. What we're going to do is we're going to find, let's go like, I love Valhalla. We do Valhalla room. Just need to chuck those into, so if we press uh, command and S and that now puts it in solo safe. So it means that if I solo a DX channel, it does, it unsolos or those channels don't get affected by the solo. So if I play it, obviously we've we've got crazy big reverb, so let's make it more reasonable. We We can either change our rooms there or there is some presets here. You could just go rooms, go large wood room. That was by station favourite. Large, probably too large. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop That sounds great. We'll just darken it a bit. We usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please. Enjoy. What we do, so a little handy trick, so we can copy that reverb across. What we'll do is on the rears, 
So we'll have our rears pretty loud, but on our rears, what we'll do is we put a 20, 20 plus millisecond delay. What we'll do is just slightly shorten the, the decay just because we don't want it to kind of finish at the back. We want to finish either evenly or even further in the front. So we're going to just dip that down and we're even going to just make it a little bit darker at the back as well. That was by a station favourite, Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now, we don't usually do this, but we have... Okay, so for you, though, you'll just get double the reverb there. But what we're going to do is we're going to pan. I don't know if we see radio or anything like that. Let's just assume that there's a radio um, to our side because what we'll do is we'll pan our music as well. Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is Just Kate. I'm out. Please enjoy. Station favourite. Now, I know a lot of this stuff you do in the mix stage, but it's a small film, so we're just doing a... Um, we can just do some of this stuff now. There's no reason why we have to save all of it for the mix stage. Andro Androsimus. Androsimus, thank you so much for hanging out, mate. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, cool. Be good to see you back in an hour. I'll probably be only going till about 1.30. So if not, we'll see you again soon. Hey, he's got the love heart going. Shook. That's awesome, bro. Uh, thank you so much. That's awesome. Cool. All right. So we'll keep moving on. So have a listen to that. By station favorite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now we don't usually do this. Might still just darken off our reverb a little bit more. The piece. This is just now the other trick what we do, so we've got our effects reverbs over here. So we're gonna duplicate this effects one. We're going to do the same thing. So we're now going to chuck that into the rears. So we've got effects one. We're going to go front, effects one, rear. And we should name that on the same on our other one, on our DX channel. So we've got effects one, front, and rear. And what we can do is, so if we drag both the reverbs across, so the front and the rear one, but what we can do is select our RX1 front and front for our DX and FX channel. If we go command G, we can make that a group and we can just call this uh, Reeve one group or whatever, uh, front, sorry. And we don't want, we just want to go follow, we get undo follow groups. We can unfollow everything else. We could even just select mix here. But the idea is we just want to, uh, we don't want to have automation mode. We just want to go controls and bypass for the first insert. In fact, let's just select it for all of them because if we add extra plugins on those channels, it'll add it to those. So the only thing that we're now controlling or sorry, grouping is the plugin itself. So if we open this plugin here and then we open this plugin here, so these are the two same plugins on the different channels. If we change stuff here, it changes it for the other one. So we go back to our 60 whatever it was. Uh, and so we do the same. So we go DX reverb one R, which is our rear group that rev one rear. Okay. Mix, get rid of global, same deal. That's already got our settings selected, which is awesome. So let's click okay. And that'll do the same. So if we make any changes to our reverbs, then it'll change it for the effects. So it means our reverbs are separate so our dx stem has reverb baked in but then our fx stem will also have the reverb baked in does that make sense and drosimus i know you're not watching anymore at the moment but i want to thank you for that sub as well that's awesome bro 
the uh, the only thing is I don't know why that didn't come up on my um, notifications. A bit strange. Just going to quickly give me a tick on Twitch. Just going to try a sound alert. There we go. Okay, so we're getting some <laughs> sound alerts. Uh, if you don't know what that was, uh, for you guys watching the stream, uh, if you are over, if you put your mouse over the video, you'll see a little purple sound alert um, thing on the right side of the video screen. Uh, if you click on that, you can do sound alerts. The reason why I made that air horn is that when I accidentally have it on the wrong camera angle, and you can sound that alert and it will just help me know to change my camera angle. Uh, we came up with that idea from some of the older crew. That's all good. Cool. All right. Well, that came through. That's sweet. All right. Uh, so moving on. So we've got now. So our DX has got its station favorite, Andrew Warboys. Really so that's sweet. The one thing we'll want to do as well. So we've got MX Reverb here one and two what we're going to do is add uh because we're probably going to have a bit of reverb on the the score itself we'll see how we go but we're going to go so we got um mx location one audio we're just going to add a new track so cancel that sorry we're going to add a new reverb we're going to just call this mx rev two And we want to make this our MX bus. So 5.1 MX bus. Now whack this down. There. Oh, we've got both selected. So we're going to whack that down to here. Going to make that black. As all my buses are, we're making that solo safe. Same with these. I forgot to do that with these effects reverbs too. Solo safe is so sweet. Uh, and then we are going to duplicate this. And we're going to call that front and that rear. And we're going to do the same thing as what we did before. We want to add these to the group. So we're going to just do that and that. And what we want to do is go modify that first group. So we're going to go down to... Our new reverb front, and then we want to modify this rear reverbs modify, and we're going to add our oops, sorry, our MX reverb there. Okay, so those will now also change, so they'll change with the other ones. We want to pan them to the rear, pan the second or the rear effect. So it's basically we're just making quad effects. We don't need to have that down the center. Um, we just want to keep the center channel clear of things like reverb unless we really want it for, say, the dialogue or whatever. That was by station favorite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop song. So what will happen is we cut to this version of the track. We're going to add reverb which we obviously like want our channel volume to be about the same as the other one. Uh, but we're also, this will probably be the only time that we use this channel, this MX, this MX location audio. So we're just going to do a quick pan now. 
We might add a bit more rev reverb. What we're going to do as well is we're going to put our futs that we've got on our dialogue. We're going to chuck that across to our music and we're going to put the same e post EQ as well. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. That was by a station favourite Andrew Warboys. That was by a station. We might play around with that a bit later, like Oh, I'm not fully loving that, so we'll see how we go. These audio tracks, they're all probably just cranking it. Zero D B. Let's just Drop them down using click gain. So I'm just holding shift control and scrolling the wheel and that'll uh Cool. We're gonna go back to here. We're gonna keep checking our dialogue. Oh, this is us. Okay, so we got dog bark, got some crickets. What's this? Okay, I'm gonna mute that. We've got it up the top in our dialogue channel, so we've got this. Oh, sorry, I think we're gonna be disturbing our peeps next door. So I'm gonna just mute this music channel because we don't need that at the moment. Just gonna fix our fades. We're gonna go 100 mils, 100 milliseconds, maybe 120. Might still be a bit too quick, but we we'll, we can adjust them here if we want. One other tip that I suggest, and I'm not doing it at the moment, is we should be always working in grid mode, or most of the time you should work in grid mode. And I just have one frame nudge because then you can nudge stuff using these keys and we can nudge say a sound effect in time with a picture or we can nudge a fade to start right at the, at the front of a frame it just it makes more sense to be working within frames because you want to get sync and stuff like that Okay, sounds a bit reverberant, but that doesn't matter because technically we're kind of outside listening in, so. All this stuff's pretty clean, which is fortunate for us. Let's just go straight to our dialogue channels. That's the important bit at the moment. Hi. Hi. Mm. Gonna add our fades in so we don't get any clicks and pops. Hung out. Brad, I should have told you sooner. We're happy. Because I'm using Ultimate. If I press Option 6, you can bring up clip effects. And I really like, I use clip effects all the time it's so good for dialogue editing because you can just like pick certain effect certain clips and just eq them oh. hi hi <clears throat> hi just this I scene there's a bit of resonance from the oh, room oh no i just hung out brad I should have told you sooner. We're having a baby. <laughs> oh. 
Hi. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. I missed you today. We're just going to chuck a bit of voicey noise, just a small amount. You just can have it on oh. adaption mode. Hi. Maybe only just a few dB. It's just going to get rid of a Hi. little bit of noise. <clears throat> Hi. I missed you today. Oh, no, I just hung out. Which we'd be ready to import that score now that we've downloaded it too. Oh. Hi. I assume encoder's finished as well while we're at it. Encoder's done, so let's close that. Let's go uh, import video. Third time's a charm. Remove existing videos. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. Cool. The other thing we need to do is back and go back and add our score. So we're going to import, going to go audio, downloads, go zip folder. So let's unzip that folder. Mm. Semi warm coffee, delicious. Ugh. Welcome anyone who's watching. Say good day. Chuck us a follow, guys. Hit that heart. Oh, hit my, my uh, mixer cam. Whoopsies. Ah, uh, yeah. Chuck us a follow and uh, all that jazz. How many files have we got here? Twenty five. What the? I always thought that with. Um, Google Drive that you got all the when you unzipped something it just gave you all the files but that's so stupid it doesn't do that maybe it's maybe it's a um, Mac thing so now we have all our files in there should be 29 yep that's all good so let's select all those convert them which it doesn't need to because it looks like he's worked in 48k samples which is awesome Seems like I have some lurkers out there or people just checking it out. All good. Appreciate the lurkers. Okay, so we're adding our new clips. I've got a bunch of videos that I'm working on as well for YouTube. So we're going to have some YouTube specific content. They're just going to be like shorter clips. Uh, oh, sorry, I should have selected the start there let's just go select we are just gonna chuck those in I feel like we're still missing stuff but i could be wrong Mm. I don't think that's in sync, but that's all right. We can fix that one up. We're just going to select all these files. And we're going to, by pressing shift and option, which is due to all selected, put that on our MX bus. We're going to change the color to a dark pink. Perfect. In fact, all of them we're going to send to our MX1, which is just our, well, at the moment there's nothing on it, but we can uh, put some reverb on there. So that's our MX reverb one. That's if we want to, we can put some nice reverb on there. Uh, so we're going to just chuck those in a logical order as well. So we've got... I hope we've got everything. It doesn't look like we do, but 
could be wrong. Uh, we'll read the tracks on the side here. This is the easiest way. So if we just pull this out a little bit, let's go to the tracks. You'll be able to read it. Although I've got to look at the screen. Excuse me for a minute. Basically, I'm just going like drums, percussion, bass into guitars or synths or whatever. That's kind of how we're going to go. Not really any good... Logical order. This is kind of why I asked for stems, but it's not bad to have everything, but it's not, it's all a bit of a mess at the moment. So, just solo some of this and have a listen. Because what we can also do, so we've got two tracks. We've got, or oh, no, there's bits and pieces all throughout. So he's already panned some stuff. So we're getting these things probably would have been nicer in mono, but we can always like pan harder. So I'm gonna do this. I select all these. Just gonna press one of these doodads and that'll bring all this up. So we can just unselect these. So it means now I have control over individual. Oh no, sorry, I've got to do that on all of them. So let's go like this. And I'm gonna hold shift option and click it on those and those. And now it'll work. So we can have. Shake is cool. So what I'll do actually with the shaker, I'm going to keep those selected because what I'm going to do is pan them. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, I've got to be selected on that channel. We can go select that. So now if I want, I can just bring those. I should bring up the app. Um, give me a second. It's like for some reason that Yukon is not coming up though. Didn't check any of that before I started. Honestly, the iPad app is sweet for doing things like pans and stuff. But I don't know that it'll come up. Oh no, that's connected. That's weird. I don't know why these aren't. I'm going to reset. Fortunately, you can use the iPad app even with the transport as well. So what this is great for, I know you probably can't see the whole thing. Um, oh, Weaver, mate. Mate. How'd you hear me calling? Seriously, bro, I've missed you. It is so good to have you back. I've missed the, all the old crew. Mello, all the guys, no one's uh, chimed in for a while. So it's been a lonely, uh, <laughs> we have a special connection. We do, mate. And that's the thing is I've just missed that connection. Obviously, we got some new guys that have been popping in. It's been great, but uh, I miss my old crew, the original band of boys and girls. Um, what's up? Got some issues with this not connecting, so... Just frustrating. 
Anyway, we're working on a new project, mate. Uh, it's called uh, While the Cat's Away, and it's a quirky little short film that it has got a cool little twist at the end. I love it. Um, we're just working on just – we're moving around a bit crazy, actually. I'm not, I've am not. i gone from using doing dialogue to just like I've just brought in the – score stems and I was playing around with that so we should probably concentrate and get back on to the dialogue eh hi hi just going to use uh I love neutrons hi. I missed you today neutron oh no I just hung out neutron to equalize that because that's got multi band, it's got sorry, um, dynamic We're EQ as well. <laughs> Sandy, tell me about it, stud. Tell me about it, stud. <laughs> Tell me about it, stud. Having to work a bit quietly, I've got uh, got people doing some recording next door and I've had to turn down a little bit. There's a studio next door. Sometimes when they work or they film something, they can hear through the wall, so I need to – I'm working a bit quiet at the moment. Yeah, so this is called uh, – what I say? Um, while the cat's away, it's a, just a short film made by some guys here in Australia. You probably might even know the crew. Um, don't know, don't know. So it's Aaron Carroll, but I, what's his production company? This is a website. It's Aaron Carroll's website. Oh, oh sorry about that. Hey, this is cool. So this is the dude that we're working on in his project. So um, I don't know if he's got – doesn't look like he's saying anything about it. But anyway, so uh, it's a cool little quirky short film. It's got a great little twist on it. Yeah, it's a cool website, isn't it? I like it. I like the paper business, the handwritten stuff. It's really cool. Um, it's a really cool idea. I like it. Well, testimonials, that's not him, just if you're wondering. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a nice, I don't know, maybe that is him. Oh, I thought the testimonials, that's a photo. So that is Aaron. I've not met the man face to face. So I um got in connection or he got in connection with me through some other clients. So this is cool. Um, it's a great, a great piece. Um, You'll probably pick up the gist of the twist as we go on, but let's just keep going through and just checking some of this dialogue. Let's see if there's any EQing Hi. that we need to do. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. I missed you today. 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 Oh no, I just hung out. Just hung out. Okay, the one trick we learnt the other day is so if we press Command, was it? One. Yeah, so command. So what we've set up here, I'm going to show you this trick again. If we're in editing and you select, so number one to five uh, number keys, control clip effects rather than zoom presets because I just zoom in and out using these dudes. So it means now if we've, we've set that as a preset, so preset one, so these clips we can add our effects our eq to those was there i can't remember where there was oh so if we just press one it'll put the same clip effect on that channel brad i should have told you sooner 
Brad, I should have told you sooner. Brad, I should have told you sooner. We're having a baby. What are you working on at the moment, Weaver? You're still working on that drift uh, talk. Drift. Um, game. So my brain is fried. Need to eat some lunch. In fact, I didn't bring lunch because I've got a bail at like one thirty. So I'm gonna just eat afterwards. Brad, I I've talk. missed you heaps, buddy. I need to do another episode of Noisy Chat too. I've got a couple of people lined up. I'm just not sure what to go next. Actually, while you're here, uh, yeah, I'm on Talk Drift. I just got the recordings. They were done. That were done for me and I'm going through them. Nice. Although I just found out they've been recorded really poorly. <laughs> Are you surprised? That, that, that's so bad, isn't it? That I'm like, I kind of expect that. When in doubt, most things are recorded poorly. Um, oh, what happened there? Oh, <laughs> I was like, why is my screen changed uh, my projector screens changed because uh it's also connected to the system downstairs and when they turn it on it takes over my screen give me one tick We're back on. It's like the biggest production company in Oz too. Super disappointed. Seriously? What are they? So how many cars did they? Excuse me. How many cars? Is this cars or more cars or is this dialogue or what's the deal? Yeah, it's a bit upsetting. Uh, next time, just tell them that uh, we'll do it ourselves, mate. You and me. They recorded cars with overheads. Didn't get off low off roads and such. Okay. That's frustrating. So what? You just you gotta deal with what you've got? That's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame, man. That sucks. I haven't done a lot of car recordings. To me, like I've seen obviously some other behind the scenes, like the amount of mics that you see. And it's interesting because even now, like going through my library, I never find what I really need as well. It's interesting. Mm, that sucks, bro. Sucks a lot. We're having a baby. Oh, actually, yeah. What I was going to ask you is uh, I've got two people lined up. I've got a composer mate who I just love chat and shop with him. Um, and I was wondering like, should I, so I've got a composer mate who I'd love to talk about just the process of getting stems and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I've also got some guys who are editors, uh, director, color greatest. There's two of them, Vis visible studio who I work for studios who I work for quite a bit. And I love to chat to those guys about the process of kind of like handing on files and all that sort of stuff. Who do you think I should do that with? Should I, as in. Do you think that's an interesting thing for sound guys to talk to people outside of our area of, or our sphere? So like a editor slash colorist slash guy that makes the DCPs and a director and then also a composer to talk about how we work around each other, all that kind of stuff. Would they both be interesting chats, do you think, for our post peeps? I have the I have to EQ the cars and try to invent rev ranges that aren't recorded with no recording notes or documentation. Man, that sucks. So why did they use this company and why didn't they not just like get you to do it or you ask this company to do it for you? Composer is always a good one. My partner may also be a good composer to interview as well. Uh, file handover is good. Uh, I'd go the editors 
uh, editor maybe first. I find that's where the most confusion would happen. Both interesting. Sick. I'll be interested to talk to your partner. We should chat about that in the Discord. I'll be keen as. Also because I want, like, I want to chat to, you know, women as well as men. I don't want to just only be talking to the guys in this industry. I want to talk to females as well. So that'd be awesome, man. Um, have a chat and let me know. That'd be cool. Sandy. Tell me about it. Sandy. 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 Can't pick that frequency. It's doing my head in. Sandy. Sandy. There we go. Sandy. What are we at? 260. I hear it, but I can't. Oh, was I? Oh, it's pretty close. Sandy. Sandy. Tell me about it, stud. Tell me about it, stud. Ah. Tell me about it, stud. Tell me about it, stud. Tell me. Ah. 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 Stud. Ah. Tell me about it, stud. Brad, don't speak to me like that. I Are you going to do some, uh, can you stream stuff for that? Um, for the game? Will you be able to stream some of the car stuff? I'd be really interested to check it out, see how you edit it. Have you been streaming much lately? I haven't seen any notifications. Or am I just being a really bad online mate and I've been missing it? Brad, don't speak to me. I can stream stuff, but my interface literally blew up last week. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> interface is in your, just your sound interface. So you're just like running off the Mac audio or something. Brad, don't speak to me like that. I'm pregnant. What do you need? Because I've, I've probably got some eight track. Um, I have like a, a Thunderbolt something, Focusrite something. Where are you based? If you want to borrow, oh, like I've got um, Focusrite Sapphire and an old, what is it? I don't know, but they're, you can plug them both in with Firewire and they'll both have a preamp and whatever. Headphone amp as well. Brad, don't speak to me like that. I'm pregnant. Yes, a large, please. I'm eating for two. No, I don't want an Yes, a large, please. I'm eating for two. No, I don't want anchovies. I'm pregnant. Yes, a large, please. I'm eating for two. No, I don't want anchovies. I'm pregnant. Yes, I'll have some cheese, please. Yes, a large, please. Yes, a large, please. <laughs> I'm eating for two. No, I don't want anchovies. I'm pregnant. Yes, I'll have some cheese, please. Yes, a large, please. <laughs> I'm eating. I waited for you to come home all day. Just going to save three. Let's chuck that on three. Enjoy your lunch. What are you eating, mate? Oh, man, I need to eat. <laughs> I waited for you to come home all day.
Brad, I have to tell you something. Brad, I have to tell you something. Brad. Misa Lobo. Bring me Han Solo. Misa Lobo. Bring me Han Solo. Misa Lobo. Just give me a tick. I'm just going to check if they finish next door because I would love to be able to turn up a little bit more. Just give me. It's just, I'm struggling to hear it a little bit. Here, I'll be back in a minute. Welcome back. I think they're still going, so we're just going to have to deal with it. All good. Uh, hello, anyone else who's new to the stream? Welcome. Say good day. Tell us about yourself. If you're just lurking, thank you very much for the lurk. We're just doing some dialogue editing, so let's get into it. We're just cleaning up. Bring me Han Solo. Just doing a bit of EQ and stuff. Bring me Han Solo. Misa Lobo. Bring me Han Solo. Oh, oh, oh. Cool, so we're going to go back and we're treating this. So this off. is TV. So they're now listening to, she's now listening to TV. What are you so doing? Turn it off. Oh, oh it's VHS, it's isn't around. it? Ah, oh, actually, I get it now. So this is a VHS uh, of the couple that later on you'll see. Uh, what are you doing? Turn What are you doing? Turn it off. Oh, just playing around. I look gross. Stop it. You look beautiful. Come on. No one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. Right, oh, okay. And the it's the sex tape. I just realised that as well. They have their own sex tape and she watches it. Brilliant. What 
What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, oh, just playing around. I look gross. Stop it, you look beautiful. Come on, no one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. I, I, I promise, I'll delete it straight away. <laughs> Come on. Says every guy. Please. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, 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 I promise, I promise. Mm. <sighs> okay. Oh, because yeah. he's... Yeah. Okay. What are you All doing? Right. Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. I look gross. Stop it. You look beautiful. Come on. No one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. All right, I, I promise. I'll delete it straight away. Come on. Please. Oh. Do you promise? I'm just going to go through and check some of this stuff because I don't think... Oh, hold on. I think we're missing some... Quality audio. Please. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, yes, yes. I promise. I promise. Mm. Please. That's the audio we want. Do you promise? Please. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, yes, yes. I promise. I promise. Mm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that should be good now. Do you promise? We can hide and make all these other channels inactive and make them inactive again. Let's start with this half and make them inactive. There we go. So they're hidden and inactive. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, yes, yes. I promise. I promise. What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. I look gross. Stop it. You look beautiful. Come on. No, it's getting rid of, we only want to hear, obviously, the person's mic that we want to open. <sighs> so we're going to now treat this with some futs. What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. I look. What are you gonna doing? going to find a TV Turn sound. Wow, just playing around. I look gross. Stop I see it. you look beautiful. What are you doing? Turn it off. What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. I look gross. Stop it, you look What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. I look gross. Let's just try that one. What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. I look gross. Stop it, you look beautiful. Come on, no one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. I, I, I promise. Be a bit boomy, I reckon. I'll it straight away. What are you doing? Turn it off. Wow, I'm just playing around. I look gross. Stop it, you look beautiful. Come on, no one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. I, I, I promise, I'll delete it straight away. Come on. Please. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, 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 I promise, I promise. Mm. <sighs> okay. Oh. What are you doing? Turn it off. What are you doing? Turn it off. What? 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 Just playing around. I look gross. Stop it. You look beautiful. 
Come on. No one will see. Yeah, no one will see. What I might actually do is just add a quick bit of reverb before TV because I think it would be good if we – um. Uh, let's just add um, a revibe. Um, because like have the living room sound before we have. Let's just go dark room or something. What are you doing? Check. Turn that off. No, it's playing around. I look gross. Stop! Isn't it beautiful? Come on, no one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. All right, I, I promise. I'll delete it straight away. Come on. Please. Oh. We don't want the kitchen, do we? Promise. Yeah. Who's going to do yes, it in I the promise. kitchen? I promise. So we'll go post. <sighs> okay. Uh, maybe go. <sighs> Come on. Small room. Muffled room. What are you doing? Turn it off. No, it's playing around. I look gross. Stop it. You look beautiful. Come on. No one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. All right, I, I promise. I'll delete it straight away. Come on. Please. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, yes, yes. I promise. I promise. Now it kind of sounds like they're in a room. It's not as clear. And we might okay. even add it. <coughs> Excuse me. Might even add a little bit of our actual. Oh, come on. So this is our reverb. I probably should have linked all these, shouldn't I? The TV's to the side, so we're just going to pan these what across as well. What are you doing? Well. Turn that off. What? It's playing around. I look gross. Stop it. You look beautiful. Come on. No one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. Oh, break down on us. What are you doing? Turn it off. What? It's playing around. I look gross. Stop it. You look beautiful. Come on. No one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. All right, I promise. I'll delete it straight away. Come on. Please. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, yes, yes. I promise. I promise. I think we could probably afford to thin it out a bit more as well. Okay. So we're just going to give it a roll it off a little bit. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, come on. That oh. reverb. We might even put a little bit more of that oh. reverb. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. I don't even try post compression. Like TV is a lot of. Any little comment robot? Yeah, yeah. I've set up some uh, robot comments, but you can set times, and I keep I I don't set them at the right time. I don't think. All right, so we're gonna have. What are you uh, doing? Turn it off. What? It's playing around. I look gross. Stop it! You look beautiful. Come on. No one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. All right, I, I promise. I'll delete it straight away. Come on. Please. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, yes, yes. I promise. I promise. Mm. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, come on. Uh. Oh. 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 So obviously when we got all the noise and stuff in there. What are you doing? Turn it off. What? It's playing around. I look gross. I'm going to chuck this down to a different channel. No one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. Right, Maybe seven. I'll delete it straight away. Come on. I'm going to add the same yes. reverb oh. as the other one. Do you promise? Yes, yes, yes. I promise. I promise. And we're going to pan that across okay. as well. We've got so many channels. We'll just... Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so that sound I think is meant to be in the video as well. So we're just going to add it. I don't give a stuff. We're going to just add that to the DX channel. Okay. This is kind of a part of our video anyway. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, the people next door are going to be like, what is he listening to? What are you doing? Turn it off. No, just play it around. I look gross. Stop it, you look beautiful. Come on, no one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. I, I promise. I'll delete it straight away. Come on. Please. Oh. Do you promise? Yes, yes, yes. I promise. I promise. I wonder if we've got... Does she have any... No, she doesn't have any sound there. That's a shame. All right, we might have to add some foley of her sitting back and stuff. What are you doing? Turn it off. No, just play it around. What are you doing? Okay, so we're just going to quickly pan this because it's going to be in the center here. What are you doing? Turn it off. What are you doing? Turn it off. So we just need to find a bit where it changes. And we're going to chuck that up. What are you doing? Turn it off. Going to do the same for our. Yeah, chest buzz that uh, he's added in there. Uh, it's really small. What are you doing? Turn it off. What? What are you doing? Turn it off. No, just play it around. I look gross. Stop it, you look beautiful. Come on, no one will see. Yeah, no one will see until someone does. I, I, I promise, I'll delete it straight away. Come on, please. Oh. Wondering if promise? it's got too much yes, bottom yes, yes. end I promise, still. I promise. I guess they're watching it on decent TV. It should be all right. VHS, mate. VHS is warm. It's got bottom end. Cool. Moving on. <coughs> Looks like she doesn't talk for the rest of the thing. Hey babe. So this is our awake? dude. He's very close to that mic. Mm -hmm. Man, what a night I've had. Let's just see if we've got a closer one of her doing that. Mm-hmm. Be a shame if we didn't. Oops, cut that. We're just going to put that in the her top channel. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice. In fact, we might grab all of that audio in that channel. Going to put that into, we're going to just add a PFX 3. So these are just hidden tracks, obviously, and we're going to add that in there just because it sounds like there's two mics mm -hmm. going on in this scene. A 
It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. Yeah, but it's all good now. It's been sorted, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. We're going to have to sure? add reverb so that his sound matches hey, hers. You still awake? Man. Just going to hide all I'm these channels again. I'm sorry. Hey, Sam, what's up? Uh, do I use Soundflow? I do not use Soundflow. But I should. Soundflow. Was Soundflow, so that's... Uh, Soundflow. That was the... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so in previous episodes or previous Twitch streams, I had a stream deck the stream deck app that i was using but i was using it just to control my stream um not to control this is actually the app that i was talking about earlier so someone else was asking um who's left now but he was asking about uh stream deck and soundflow was the app that i was trying to think to talk to him about so actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy that um join the discord guys if you haven't already um Gear and plugins. I'm just going to add. Cool. Um, so that's now in the Discord. But no, Streamflow, I really should. I'm like, I'll be honest, I'm doing uh, a lot of things manually and slowly, right? Thank you very much. I'm very happy with my setup here. Uh, I do need to get better at just workflow efficiency things. And I guess like I had a few things set up with the iPad app and, and you know, at times I've used it and then changed systems or whatever. Um, but at the moment, you're right. I need to actually get a better, like Soundflow looks sick. I really need to get a Stream Deck and Soundflow going. Because um, the good thing is I could use the Stream Deck for the stream as well. You can obviously set up pages and stuff. Um, Oh, and draw and draw and drosimos and drosimos. That's the one. So Androsimos, you were asking about the stream deck, right? Or you said you'd bought a stream deck. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it, right? Like I same deal. If you have even the controller, for some reason, this beast is not coming up today. Um, it's just not picking up the ethernet, which is weird because it's picked it up on my iPad, but it's not picking up these, which is a bit of a pain, but I don't use, like I use this mixing a lot with faders and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yukon sucks, right? Uh, it's always kind of been hit and miss. Um, I do occasionally use the app. Like I love the app for the 3d for the panning and stuff for five, one panning. Um, also for doing things like just selecting channels. Um, obviously I mostly use this for faders because to be honest with the trackball, it's probably not always the quickest, but I find it really comfortable to just go through the plugins and stuff. Um, but I do think like when it comes to setting up my projects for like a big film, so at times I've set up, so I'll have a shortcut that will copy and paste clips and paste them into the channels that I want. So if it's like a DX, if it's a boom channel I'll, it'll paste into the boom channel as in like when i'm getting the af and organizing that um and soundflow it would be awesome for that because i think with soundflow you can do like delay so the problem with yukon is i might set up a whole bunch of key commands but if it does them all straight away there's no you can't set second delays or whatever so it tries to do them all at once and it won't do things like just press enter so like type in the track name so you go track find track name and then enter and it doesn't do it yeah, so you can add weight macros. Yeah, perfect. So I will I really want to get myself a stream deck. Um I do have the app, so maybe I should set that up. Maybe we'll do a session. This is the thing with the stream. Obviously, like I need to work on projects that pay, especially at this time when there's not a lot of work going on. But I really um Yeah, okay, sorry, I thought it was you. Um get on to yeah, so sorry, I'll finish what I'm saying. Um 
excuse me. Yeah, so I want to get, I want to do some sessions where we do stuff like that, just work, general workflow stuff. Oh, excuse me, like setting things up as well. Um, get onto keyboard, Mastro, no subscription, works with every app. It's fantastic. I tried Soundflow and didn't bother after having keyboard Mastro. Can you, so keyboard Mastro, you'd be able to do the exact same thing if you had, say, a Stream Deck. You just, uh, or with Mastro, you obviously would set up key commands and then does it do macros through that? So if you're using Stream Deck, you just say, all right, so if shift control, whatever, and then we make one button on a Stream Deck for that, then it would run the macro within Key Mastro. Yeah, seriously, mate, do another video. Either do it on YouTube and send it to us. Um, guys, uh, anyone else here, Sam, get onto the Discord. Um, get onto the Discord because that's where we'll share a bunch of stuff. Uh, where is it? All right, people. Uh, the Discord is uh, at the bottom of Twitch, so I've got links and stuff down there. Um, but yeah, we, I've just shared Soundflow, but Weaver, if you can do a video on um, Keyboard Mastro, that'd be sick. Uh, or a stream and we'll all come and connect. That'd be awesome. Yeah, Discord's great, mate. Um, and we're trying, uh, look, I'll be honest, I've got to get better at contacting on there. But we've got a bunch of guys that have been on the stream a lot and we're all on that. So the idea is to be able to like share stuff after the fact, um, share apps and, and sound libraries and things like that. Um, there's also stuff like uh, Weaver did some, just some little bit of folly for me for a section of a film on the spot, send it through and we've got that on the Discord. So there's things like that that you can get free libraries and stuff as well. So actually one thing I was saying before Weaver, which I need to tighten up my template, but I might to subscribers and stuff um, send my template so guys can have a look at it and tweak it. Um, have their own version of it and stuff. You can even look at your screen and find things on your stream, click on specific things and whatnot and run specific commands based on whether you find things on your screen or whatnot. Ah. That's awesome. And Drossomos, when did you start subscribing? Did it, when Did you do that at the start of the day today? Hey, babe, you still awake? Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. But it's all good now. It's been sorted, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure we've heard the last of her. Hey, what happened to the photo of us? Oh, anyway. Now, all I want to do is cuddle up and... <gasps> this is going to be fun. Don't you love when ADR has been recorded really close to the mic and it sounds unnatural? It's great. Hey, babe. And Drossomos, uh, when did you start subscribing, bro? Have you changed your name? I don't know. I'm not sure if I actually subscribe just on the free trial on Twitch Prime. Oh, okay. Well, that's weird, though, because you used my um, emote before. And I thought you had to be a subscriber to do that. Uh, maybe you're not. Well, maybe chuck a subscribe. Uh, Twitch. So if you're on Twitch Prime, you get a free subscription a month to like as in you can subscribe to someone obviously it doesn't cost you more money but uh, it supports uh, us streamers the ones that you like all right let's go let's add a reverb hey here you still awake mm -hmm. man what a night. perfect She came to the office at one stage, but she 
took off before the cops arrived. The around. giant hallway. Let's yeah, go, right. It's all good now. It's been so good, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure we've heard the last of her. Hey, what happened to the photo of us? Too big. Hey, babe. All oh, right, you're able to unlock the emotes for 24 hours with noisy points. Ah, sick. I have probably set, well, I, when I say I set that up, I don't think I changed from the standards. That's awesome. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you could use my emote. That's sick. Hey, babe. You still awake? Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry. This small room. I a bit of a fit. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. Again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. It's too bright. Yeah, but it's all good now. Let's go room. Let's go. Sorted, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Small neutral. Let's try that. Hey, babe, you still awake? Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fit. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. <laughs> Got your own currency, you capitalist pig. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Ha, ha, ha. I need to like a... This is a camera just like punch in. I could do that because I could just have it like just digitally like crop in. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. No, I don't want to ruin it actually. I'll break my frigging stream. I was like, I could just have button that I press and it crops further and further in right into my eye and I'll be like, yes, I do. Ha. Anyway, sorry. Hey, look, we've all got to survive somehow. And if it's through you freaking doing these things, noisy. So the, the thing with noisy points is just like it, the more you stream, the more points you get. So as in like watch my stream. So no, uh, Weaver, you would have heaps. Um, you would have heaps of noisy points. You can, I can't remember what I've set. I don't think I've changed anything because I've got some other mates who have got the same setup like they stream games and they do a couple of great um one of them has he's got a beard so he's one of his is he'll comb his beard and stuff and another do oh he's got uh, moist lips and that means he'll drink out of his drink bottle so it's to remind him to drink which is kind of cool um it's all right it doesn't cost you anything mate the more you stream the more noisy points you get so that's cool but yeah, subscriptions obviously cost you money. It's all good. If you can watch for free, I don't care. It's all, I'm, I'm not here to make the money on the stream. I'm here to just give this knowledge away, give this content away. And if I can support myself through it as well, that would be awesome. Um, yes, you're right. I should use... No, I'm saving my noisy points because of the economy. <laughs> I need to find, I need something real big that if you um, spend like, I don't know, crazy amounts of noisy points, I'll take you out for dinner. <laughs> That'd be sick. That's true. Your noisy points could be worth a lot one day. Um, I should set up, because you can do VSTs in OBS. So I sh could probably get a um, Krotos get a Krotos VST and have like the demon voice. So I could just zoom in and go, raw something dark side. Bra, rah, rah. Anyway, being an idiot now. All right, what were we doing? Oh, reverb. Hey, babe. Oh, what the heck? That's the subscribe link that that just sent, which is fun. Why wouldn't it just... Oh, maybe I want that. Maybe I want you to subscribe. Better than Bitcoin. Shit, yeah, it is. It's louder than Bitcoin. But um shh. Hey babe. You still awake? Mm-hmm. 
Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. But it's all good now. It's been sorted, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure we've heard the last of it. Hey, what happened to the photo of us? Anyway, now, all I'm gonna do is cut a laugh. Hi. Hey, babe. You still awake? Mm-hmm. Man. What a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. Oh, this is frustrating. I just, because it's been recorded so close, I, it's just too hey, clean. Babe. You still awake? Mm-hmm. Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. But it's all good now. It's been sorted, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure we've heard the last of it. Hey, what happened to the photo of us? Now, all I'm gonna do is cut a laugh. <gasps> Hi. Hey, babe. You still awake? Mm-hmm. Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. still awake? Mm-hmm. Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. Bet. I've started to use Doc's wheel for clip gain. Very convenient. The only downside is if you need to undo, you have to do it like 10 times uh, to go back to the original clip gain. As in the Avid Doc. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. So I'm using the jog wheel here. Um, the only thing, like I've set mine to 1 dB. I used to have it on half, but now I do 1 See, that's so annoying. Why are you doing both posts so close together, you stupid bot? So many of them so close together. I need to play with that. <laughs> also, it's filling up my friggin' screen with crap. All right, anyway. Hey, babe. You still awake? Mm-hmm. Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. But it's all good now. It's been sorted, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure we've heard the last of it. Hey. What happened to the photo of us? Anyway, now. What I might do. Ah, oh, there you go. Thanks, Ed. I keep, <laughs> keep stuffing up your name. Ed Drosimos. And Drosimos. I keep wanting to say and Jonimo or something. Or Thank you very much for that subscription, you legend. 
Oh, it looks like a bunch of my stream elements things didn't update. I did fix those. That's all good. Um, thank you so much, mate. Appreciate that subscription. Would you be interested? Uh, so I was saying for subscribers to that, I would give you a template. Would you be interested? Do you use Pro Tools? Would you be interested in getting my template so you can have a play with it, have a look at it? I should really like give it a good. I might do a session, maybe even tomorrow or just soon. I'll do a session where I'll give it a good reorganize. Um, and then, oh yeah, I could do a reorganize of the whole thing and then I could send that out. Sweet. That's awesome. Great. Well, I'm glad you're keen. Uh, I'm sure some of the other subscribers might be. I know um, Mello, he's freaking killing it. And he's, uh, he's not around at the moment, but he uh, has been working on his setup uh, recently. All right. Hey, what happened to the photo eyes? I'm just going to affect the wet dry here. So we're going to open up. I'm just going to do a, so I've got now wet dry down here because there's just some of these bits of dialogue that I'm going to just dry up a little bit. Hey, what happened to the photo eyes? 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 Anyway, now, all I'm gonna do is cut a laugh. that up here that's dialogue we have a lot of things going on here hey what happened to the photo eyes anyway now all I'm gonna do Hey, Sam, thanks so much for joining us. You can check us out. Oh, shut up, Siri. Uh, you can check out the videos and stuff you missed on YouTube, uh, but join back again, mate. Um, it's all about the interaction here. You guys need to chime in and ask more questions and uh, all, you know, I'm here for the interactions, but thanks so much for joining, mate. Appreciate that. Share it with your mates. Hey, babe. You still awake? Mm-hmm. Man. What a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I Her dialogue mistaken. here, we might even put that in a second channel. It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again. And we can chuck the same reverb on her. She office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. But it's all good now. It's been so we have the similar sound. You still awake? Mm-hmm. You still awake? Mm-hmm. Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but... Mm-hmm. Man, what a night I've had. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but... Hi. 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 Is Mhm. Mm Man, what a night I've had. I'm 
I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but you know, she took off before the cops arrived. But it's all good now. It's been sorted, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure we've heard the last of it. Hey, what happened to the photo of us? Anyway, now, all I want to do is cut a laugh. Hey babe, you still awake? Mm-hmm. Man, what a night I've had. I'm sorry, but I told a bit of a fib. I didn't want you to worry, but I wasn't working back. I was at the police station all night. It's okay, but that crazy bitch was calling again this morning. She even came to the office at one stage, but... We got a line of dialogue at the end here too. Besties! Just copy and paste that in the wrong spot. It's a bit out of sync. What about to you guys? Besties. 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 Got a feeling it's besties. Been recorded after the fact, anyway. Besties. Gonna get these two bits of score in sync. I think we'll have the Sound design. There's no name. I haven't been credited. I don't want to be sound design anyway, guys. We need to remember this. Audio post-production or sound editor and re-recording mixer. Again, directors love sound design. That was by a station favourite, Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now, we don't usually do this but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is Just Kate, I'm Out. What we'll do, because we've done the same thing at the end of that last song, so I reckon we... 
assume that they want the same. I think on the camera change, we'll go back to our radio sound because we don't want to be too thin for too long. Please enjoy. Station favorite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please enjoy. That was by station favorite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please enjoy. sure if you can tell so this is the the up mixer so it shouldn't sound too different to you guys but i get that vibe the the rears and stuff it basically just adds puts the reverb stuff at the back it's kind of cool all right uh Uh, what strings? The strings in this, you mean just this track? So the idea is I'll, um, we need sound effects and stuff all throughout this, obviously. We're going to cut to the radio vibe. I haven't, I should read the notes from the director at the moment. I haven't even done that. I'm just fiddling around. I might read that. That was by station favourite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now, we don't usually do this. 
Uh, I don't think that's... I think it's been composed because it's based off this pop track that it plays. So that's a version of this pop track. So it could be that their mates are his and the composer's done a recreation of this track or he's getting this track licensed and he's got the composer to write for it. It's really cool. I like it. Sounds good. Um, so obviously going to convert it to the radio thing. Um, and then we're going to go, I, I'm just doing this based on what I think, but I'll read the director's notes first and we'll double check. Uh, I haven't played around with the phone sound or anything like that. In fact, the phone is going to be over here as well. Let's just grab the phone. We're going to put it in our mono tracks because as we are. That was by a station favourite, Andrew Warboys. We've really... Oops. That was by a station favourite, Andrew Warboys. Oh, okay. Means I need to get going soon. That was by a station favourite. So we're just going to add that into our reverb one, which is our room reverb. That was by a station favorite. That was by a station favorite. That Unfortunately, that radio is panned the same spot. That was by a station favorite. That was by a station. F you know what? I think we might move the radio to the opposite side only because we've got the phone that's on the table there, and I'd prefer us not to have that was by a station favorite. the radio on the same side. So we're just going to put the radio station over there, station which also means our music needs to be over there too. So we're going to quickly go back and play our music. That was by a station favourite, Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. It's a cool little idea, isn't it? Now, we don't usually do this, but we have the... That was by a station favourite, Andrew Warboys. That was by a station favourite, Andrew Warboys. We've really that was by a station that was by a station favorite Andrew Warboys. We really do enjoy his arrangements of pop songs. Now we don't usually do this, but we have the original song that inspired the piece. This is just Kate. I'm out. Please enjoy. So we will pan the dog across. Oh, no, undo that. So we're going to pan our dog across. We're going to turn him down a bit. And we're going to use our world famous. Let's go reverb two. Going to use our world famous. Mellow reverb, uh, mellow external reverb. Thanks to Mellow who has joined us multiple times. Oh, whoops, that should be all 100% wet.
There we go. TV gra gra Graves, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Dude, nice. I like where this one is headed. It's a great short film. Uh, there's a cool little twist in it. It's really good. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate this so it'll have the same effects uh, reverb 2 coming in, but we're going to slap this one at the back. And we might even, and we're just going to put, so we just want to put a pre-delay of 20 more milliseconds. So we'd say about 20.8. doesn't have to be exact. Uh, we might even just shorten the time off ever so slightly. You know, we might even go heavier pre-delay. Maybe even really big pre-delay, because then it would be like a double bounce. You obviously don't need it that loud at all. And I think it's clipping. That sound, I didn't put the sound in. This is from the director, which we probably should replace it. But let's clean that up. Might check with him to see what sounds, where he got his sounds from, just to make sure we, oops, wrong one. We can use it. If we can't, we will get our own because I love my dogs. We just need to go. So this is D-clip. Um, <laughs> correct pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, TV. Google, Google, Graves. Um yeah, so we just need to go over the clipping point. We can put on high quality. I've not really noticed any difference between two. That'll, you can see that fixes our waveform as well. I'm not sure, we'll have to check with him because the music cuts in his version. So I'm not sure whether he wants, he just wants to show her just really exposed singing along or whether the music's meant to be there quite in the distance. But we'll double check that because uh, he's also got crickets in here. Which, you know, we can add some more ambiences, I think, into that later. Cool. All right. Well, dudes, I have to get going. Um, I'm so sorry, TV G -G Graves, uh, that you've only just joined, but uh, I will get back on again tomorrow. We'll have another big session tomorrow. Uh, I should come back and come on tonight, shouldn't I? Would you guys watch it all at night if I came? Like, I don't know where you guys are located, but um, uh, would you watch it if I came after dinner and did some work Australian time. So what is it? So in about seven hours or something, um, let me know either way. Uh, if not tonight, I'll be back on tomorrow. We'll do another big session. Um, but TVG, I'm glad you're here. Graves. Welcome. Um, I'll be down to watch later. Works for me since school's finished. Okay, cool. Anyone else? Um, yeah, I'd, I'll let me know because um, we'll see how we go. I don't. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just save it for tomorrow. But um, either way, we'll be on again soon and we're going to smash this one out. So we've got Cube, which if you've been watching or haven't seen yet, you can go on YouTube. They're all up there. Um, Twitch only holds stuff on for like two weeks, but all my previous videos are on YouTube. So I have... Um, cubed which we're waiting for the composer just to write some more tracks and stuff to finish that off and then we will be uh yeah we'll finish that one off and then obviously we're going to smash this one out um this one doesn't have a huge budget so we're just going to get through this one really quick so there's a list of things that i will uh, look through before tomorrow's session that is uh, notes from the director so we'll get that sorted as well but i want to thank all the newbies for coming in for graves uh for androsimos 
Uh, you guys are legends. Thank you so much. And Weaver, my oldest Twitch friend, uh, it's so good to have you here, mate. I've missed you dearly. It's not been the same without you. So, guys, uh, thanks so much for joining us and, uh, yeah, or joining me. But uh, if you haven't yet, chuck us a follow. Uh, subscribe would be even better. Obviously, it helps me keep doing this thing. But also get onto YouTube, subscribe there, share it with your mates, tell everyone that you're hanging out and they should hang out as well. It's awesome. Uh, and also make sure you join the Discord so you can find out when I'm streaming and we can also share other tips and tricks while I'm offline. So anyway, thanks so much. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you soon.